and gentlemen, the children of all ages, producer Kenneth Bell proudly presents the 121st edition of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, the greatest show on earth. From around the globe, they've come to work where America comes to play. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. From Moscow. From China. And the United States of America. Nations reaching out to each other as never before. Bound by their common love of the circus. And as the world grows smaller, the greatest show on earth just gets bigger and better. Presenting a three-ring display of freewheeling fun as premier acrobats from the People's Republic of China pedal your way on a bicycle built for balance and brilliance. I spent last year touring all over China. And the amazing thing is in every province, there's a great troop of acrobats. So whether it's Fuzhou, whether it's Guangzhou, whether it's Harbin, whether it's Shanghai or Beijing, you see these great acrobatic troops. What we wanted to do with The Greatest Show on Earth this year is bring something that's traditional Chinese A Noah's Ark of magnificent beasts, an all-American adventure in animal expertise. In Ring One from Arkansas, a brilliant buffalo ballet presented by the Boger family. In Ring Three from Worcester, Massachusetts, a barnyard jamboree directed by Lisa Dufresne. I wanted to get them together very young, so I turned the pigs and the cows and the goats out all together, and they all had so much fun. They climbed all over each other and. The goats butted the pigs, and the pigs chased the goats, and the goats jumped all over the cows when they were laying down, so they had fun. And in Ring 2, camels, zebras, horses, and ponies exhibited by Texas-born Mark Oliver Gable. Everyone is so different. The camels are very, very intelligent. Most people don't think that the camels are so smart. And I, I most definitely think that they're the smartest animals in the mixed act. And the horses, uh, they, they, they kind of do their own thing. They, sometimes they want to do it, sometimes they don't. And the zebras, it, they are pretty consistent in doing what they need to do. But they're so energetic, uh, if there's a little, uh, if someone claps their hands, they can go from one side of the ring to the other in a second. It was very, very hard to train so many different types of animals. Um, untethered in the ring when they can do whatever they want to do at all times. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey is proud to present the man who won the hearts of audiences around the globe. The man presented the Silver Clown Award at the International Circus Festival in Monte Carlo. And the man who brings his unique humor to America for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, the clown of clowns, David Larible.
Okay, I figure all the time a clown is an artist with two suitcases. In one suitcase, he has a technique. Juggling, acrobat, music play. In the other suitcase, he has talent. But to be really a great clown, a fantastic clown, you have to have both suitcases full. is my partner. Like Lauren and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, David and the audience. Every people think, oh look, he's funny. He look li like my friend George or like my... He never say he look like me. I have to say, okay, stay there. And it's a natural reaction when I, when I say, don't look me. He look me. And in this moment the gag is made. What he does is bring ordinary people out of the audience and hold up a funhouse mirror to light. And all of us, whether you're nine years old or 90 years old, can appreciate that. What I be when I don't be a clown? When I don't be a clown, I don't be. Perpetual motion in all three rings. In ring one, water, water everywhere, and not a drop is spilled. Centrifugal force holds the spotlight in a deft display of water meteor juggling by the acrobats of the People's Republic of China. In ring three, whirring, whirling hoops. Hypnotize the Hippodrome in a gyration fixation performed by the fabulous Desi and Jerry. And in ring two, the greatest show on earth proudly presents the undisputed premier juggler of the world from the Moscow State Circus, Gregory Popovich. What's happened with Glasnost in the Soviet Union in the past year has really enabled us to bring the best of the Russian performers to the United States for the very first time. I born in Kyiv, in Russia, but I grew up in a wonderful beauty country, the country called Circus. With clubs, juggling balls and rings as playthings, Gregory Popovich was able to enjoy a unique childhood. At the age of 15, he came to the attention of the Moscow State Circus. International acclaim soon followed, and Gregory Popovich now makes his debut as the first Russian performer ever to appear with the greatest show on earth. When I juggle, I cannot think about how I juggle, because if I will be too much think how juggle, I make too much mistake. That's why I must walk like automatically. To stay on top of his form, Gregory continues to put in several hours of rehearsal each day under the careful guidance of his father, Alex Popovich, himself a circus veteran of half a century. Uh, my father and I, we ha have contact like a teacher and a student, but also we have contact like father and son. Uh, like a teacher, he must said me strong words, but like father, he cannot uh, make this sometime. Now watch as Gregory Popovich attempts to juggle an incredible nine rings at one time. Ladies and gentlemen, Gregory Popovich. 
We call them flyers, and perhaps no act typifies the grace and daring of the circus world like the artistry of the flying trapeze. Soaring high above the hippodrome track, these men and women do appear to float through the air with the greatest of ease. But the effort of continually defying gravity, of performing the intricate mid-air twists and somersaults, strains the body to the limit. Watch as the difficult and dangerous triple somersault is attempted over ring one by Maricela Vargas and the Flying Vargas. And over ring three by Noe Espana and the Flying Espanas. Presenting a circus tradition, an elegant display of Liberty Horses. In rings two and three, Arabians and Royal Lippis honors presented by Tina and Mark Oliver Gable. And in ring one, Chestnuts and Bays presented by Lisa Dufresne. The type of horses that I use in my act are Arab quarter horse crosses. And they are suited to be Liberty Horses and and work in the circus because the quarter horse side of them keeps them um, friendly and mellow and hardy. And the Arab side is the showy side, the real performers. Tina and Mark Oliver Gable inherited their love and respect for all members of the animal kingdom from their famous father, Gunther Gable Williams, whose compassionate legacy to the world of the circus is apparent in each performance of his talented children. I, I always want everything to go right, of course, for, for myself, for the audience, but most definitely for my father. Dazzling aerial artistry aloft. Over ring one, on the single trapeze, the lovely Lorelei. Above the hippodrome track, performing intricate maneuvers on the hanging perch, the Navarre duo. and displaying strength and dexterity on the aerial cradle, the Alejandro duo. You already know them as the daring young men on the flying trapeze. Now watch this trio of daredevils as they put the pedal to the metal in a menacing display of mechanized mania. Racing at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, man and machine locked in battle with the laws of nature. In the great grim globe of death, the incredible Espanyas. We have to maintain a certain speed. We have to maintain a certain distance from each other and we have to concentrate because we are fighting gravity and sometimes we don't know if we're upside down or not. Now watch as Gladys Espana tempts fate, facing three roaring motorcycles while standing inside the globe of death.
Anywhere and everywhere you look in the greatest show on earth, you'll spot the Daffy Denizens of Clown Alley. To help you understand a day in the life of a Ringling Brothers clown, we now offer this glossary of glee. You first met the clowns during Come In. A walk around is an instant sight gag. It's sort of like taking a cartoon and bringing it to life. Just before the show started, you applauded their antics during Blow Off. And I started balancing the uh, family rake on my nose. And then uh, worked up to bigger and better things like the family lawnmower. And then I'd go to uh, a supermarket and try the, the shopping carts. A cherry berry uh, is uh, a term that we use for a very um, active acrobatic number where we utilize a, a mini tramp and bound over some kind of obstacle we call it a horse. And oh yes, that beautiful vision you saw was merely paying tribute to the time-honored clown tradition of dressing in drag. So I'm not trying to act like a, uh, like a real woman, I'm trying to act like a funny woman. You understand, there's a difference between... And, and as good old P.T. Barnum once said, clowns are the pegs upon which a circus is hung. And uh, this year we are very much a part of this giant mosaic that makes up the circus, and uh, I'm very happy about that. steel cage. Lions and tigers trained and presented for the first time anywhere by the magnificent Marco Peters. This performance is made even more amazing with the realization that until six months before opening night, Marco Peters had never been in a cage with lions and tigers. I want to show the animals, how nice they are, the natural tricks they do. This act that I made is, there's no fire involved, there's no jumping over fences involved. It's all tricks what they normally do in the nature, in the wild. I try to show the beauty of the animal. From the dangers of the steel cage to the awesome wheel of death, where every move by man and beast must be performed in perfect balance. From the Netherlands, two brothers of exceptional skill and courage, Marco and Philip Peters. To create the Wheel of Death, Marco Peters took his inspiration from a children's playground. But this wheel is no child's play, and only the bond of brotherhood guides these daredevils through each grueling performance. Trust is very important. Uh, you can see each other only like one tenth of a second every round, and in this one tenth of a second, you gotta read everything on his face. If he's in trouble or not, if you gotta go slower or faster. Yeah. It's good that we're brothers because we grew up the whole our life together. So I know what he's gonna do if something goes wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Vivian and David Larible. This highly unusual act was the idea of David and Vivian's father, Eugenio, himself a master of the Washington trapeze. When David and his sister Vivian work together, they create a special moment, a special feeling of emotion, of pathos, of love that the whole audience feels. It makes my act really different, I can say. And uh, all these uh, small things that I do in my act is coming uh, with time, you know? Like this thing with the heart, we begin to fall drunk.
in his unending quest to bring the greatest talent in the world to the people of America, producer Kenneth Feld proudly presents the most spectacular troupe of acrobats ever to emerge from the People's Republic of China. Every city through different acrobatic troops, and each troop has their own specialty. Some things are typical. Then there are these vertical poles that never been seen in America before. They're commonplace in China. There's rope spinning and lassoing. Only from Fuzhou do they do that. And you know, there are cowboys in this country that have never seen rope tricks like what's been done by these Chinese before. In fact, so strong is the tradition of acrobatics in China that each troupe possesses a seemingly endless repertoire of skills, each extraordinary in design and execution, and each performed now exactly as it must have been at its origin centuries ago. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from Italy and the world, David Lorible. I don't think this, a person decides to be a clown one day. I think it's not that's one day born the clown in you. I think the clown and the people born in the same time. When I was born, David the Clown was born with me. master is the power, and the, is the teacher, is the mother, and the clown is the ch child. That's why I think the children love the clown so much. It's kind of like when he's standing in ring two, He's holding the torch that has been passed through the ages by the master clowns, and the light from that torch will shine not only on him, but all the clowns of Clown Alley. I say all the time that I live my dream. When I was a child, my big dream was to be a famous clown. Now I'm here, headline in Ringing Bros. Barnum and Bailey most important circus in the world. So I live my dream. Hurtling headlong into the heady heights of the Hippodrome, three rings of acrobatic excellence. And now, our triumphant trio of teeterboard troops adds a new and towering twist. A spectacular bounding leap to the back of an elephant. In ring three from Mexico, the Francos. In ring two from Bulgaria, the Kehayovi. And in ring one from the United States, the Hernandez. Born here in the United States and making his debut commanding an entire herd of elephants with his voice alone, America's own Mark Oliver Gable.
we made it a little new uh, and kind of took Christina's background and she had gymnastics background and we kind of said why don't we try to like to a little gymnastics on top of the elephant and we tried it and it, it's working and we really enjoy it. I direct your attention to the giant ringling double-barreled cannon, which will fire our heroes John Weiss and Philip Peters the entire length of the arena. The only way I could explain it is by saying, if you were in a parked car on an expressway and someone hit you from behind doing about 55, 60 miles an hour, but you're ready for it. Five, four, three, two, one. When I sit through a performance, and I can see performers from China, from the Soviet Union, from the United States, from all over the world, working together, living together day in, day out for a year, I get a great sense of pride. Why can't everybody in the world get along the way these people do at the greatest show on earth? Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of us at the greatest show on earth, we thank you for being with us, and may all your days be circus days. May all your days be circus days. Que todos sus días sean días de circo. Both and all the often, circus the often time. Все ваши дни должны стать цирковыми днями.